In today's video, I want to talk about the Inatech M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure. This enclosure claims to keep your SSD drive cool even under heavy workloads and that it takes full advantage of the USB 3.2 interface. So today we're going to put this thing through the test. If you want to learn more about this enclosure, then definitely stick around for the rest of the video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and hit that notification icon so you'll be notified of any new content. Full disclosure before we get into this device is that Inatech did reach out to me and send me this device for review. They didn't pay me or influence this video in any way, and all the impressions and the results of this device are my own. Inatech has not seen this video or has had any input in this video before it was republished. With that out of the way, let's go through the specs, hardware, and manufacturer's claims. So let's quickly go over the specs on this device. The heatsink's equipped with a small fan for improved heat dissipation. It's a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C interface that's rated at 10 gigabits per second. With a drive that supports the M.2 NVMe protocol, it has a theoretical transfer of 900 plus megabytes per second, and it's a completely toolless installation. Let's take a look at what you get in the box. You obviously get the drive enclosure itself. You get a short USB-C to USB-C cable, you get four of these plastic snap settings, dissipating pad or silicone dissipating pad, and an instruction manual. So let's go ahead and install the drive. We'll just slide it into the slot and press down lightly. And all we have to really do is to turn that clip so that it locks the drive in. Once the drive's been installed, we're going to put the silicon pad. You have to remove the plastic on both sides first and apply the pad to the top of the drive. And then we'll just simply push the heat sink and cover combination on top and just click it into place. Once we're done with that, we just slide it back into the enclosure and it just snaps and, and kind of self locks in there. And that's pretty much it. Now that we've seen the hardware, let's put it through some testing. For the testing, I'll be using a Samsung 980 NVMe drive as my base drive. I'll be using the supplied cable that came with the enclosure for testing using a Core i7 PC. As integral temperatures of the drive can't be measured, temperatures were made with an IR temperature gun on both the front and back of the unit. Showing are the test results from a recent video I did with the Samsung T7 alongside the Inatech enclosure using the 980. As you can see from the testing, the Inatech drive with the NVMe drive just hammers the T7 making it one of the fastest external USB drive enclosures I've tested to date. It beats the Samsung T7 by a good margin and beats more expensive units like the Orico in terms of speed when, it, when they're connected to a USB port. The one thing I did want to point out though is that when you do pound the drive with heavy use, the fan speed does spin up and the noise levels do go up a bit, much like you'd see on a laptop. For temperatures, I really couldn't even get this enclosure to heat up, even after numerous test runs. As I mentioned, getting smart data from these USB type enclosures is not usually possible. So all you can really do is tell the external enclosure temperatures. And if you've run any of these, you know that some of these get really, really warm. This one barely moved a couple degrees. As you can see from the, both the static noise readings and as it's running, there is some noise coming from the fan. If the device is kind of tucked away behind something or attached to a docking station, you probably won't hear it at all. However, it's, if it's right next to you plugged into a laptop, you'll probably know it's there. Depending on the kind of laptop, it, you know, if you're running something like an M1, which is completely silent, you're going to def definitely hear the fans. If it's running through a typical Windows laptop, it, you're laptop fans will probably drown it out without any problem. Personally, I would have liked it if there was a high-low switch for quieter environments. This drive stays so cool that even cutting back the fan speed wouldn't have really made that much difference in my opinion. You know, this is something that you'll have to evaluate for yourself. I've used Inatech products before and I've been happy with them in the past. This particular product exceeded my expectation in both performance and overall build quality. Currently, it's the fastest USB device I've tested to date and is the first that I've seen to actually max out the 10 gigabit 
USB 3.2 bus and actually reach drive speeds of, you know, very close to or in sometimes in excess of the 900 megabit, megabytes per second. As you may have already experienced, many of these high-speed external SSDs get really hot, and this device attempts to address this by the use of a fan. As a byproduct, you may hear a bit of the fan noise, depending on your particular situation, but you really can't argue with the fact that it keeps it really cool. I really want to thank the folks at Anatech for sending me this unit, as it's really ideal for me when I'm doing some video-intensive tasks. That's about it for today's video, and if you're interested in the product, I'll leave an affiliate link below. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.